besides fruitful B2B meetings, the sixth edition of the Travel Luxury Show. Enlighten the trade through a panel discussion on industry trends. Can you share with us how you've seen the destination and the, the, the habits and the demands of the people going into your destination grow over the last five years or change over the last five years? We've seen a sea change in terms of uh, the, not only the number of visitors to the UK, but also the value they bring to the destination. The uh, targets that we had for 2020, we've already met those in 2018. Wow. So we're very happy with the market. Tell us a little bit about the behavior pattern of people from your city. Somebody is going today and they might go after three months or four months. I can tell you with my experience and everything, after every 45 days, they make a plan. Wow. So that's the trend. The Generation Y and Generation Z takes you forward on uh, various aspects. They are more on the move, more wine tasting tours, more culinary tours. What do you see the future of your website? Do you think that that's going to pave the way for new customers? The website is not the first point of information contact for a high-end traveler. The best way forward is always through referrals and recommendations. I believe that a well-structured website with clear information and carefully crafted content will definitely support your reputation and work as an impetus for a new client to get in touch with you. What are the differences that you find between us as a race and some of the other developed countries? The very first difference I would say is that Indian traveller is a lot more digitally advanced than travellers from other developed markets. One thing that I think we must talk about is food. If they're not a vegetarian, uh, then 50% they say that's fine, but still if they don't get an Indian meal a day, they're not satisfied. If you prepare them in advance, uh, they will not mind. How can I end a conversation without talking about price? When I return to my suppliers, I don't go to one supplier at that time. I turn around to various suppliers to get back rates. And then it becomes the competitive world. It's just the initial a uh, psychological thing, oh it costs so much, that's all. But the moment you sort of talk to him and explain to him that this is what you're getting in return, he's like, okay, I'll go ahead with it. The price always matter, it doesn't that we can't, you know, write them up, but it's just that if they want luxury, we say that take luxury or take price. <laughs>